Let's take a look at an amazing cartoon joint rig uh, that I learned from Johnny Gordon. It's, it's really amazing how it works and uh, you can get some really nice results. I'm going to focus just on the arm because it's a really good place to use it, but it could be used any, for any of the joints. Uh, and let's just take a, a quick look at what we have. Normally whenever I set up um, an area that's going to bend like a knee or a, a joint, I like the rule of three. I like the segment that is the loop that's going to uh, be where the bend takes place and then I like a segment on either side that's going to hold the geometry so that when we go to this is just be a, a rough idea of what happens uh, when we go and rotate this segment is going to hold this geometry and this segment is going to hold that geometry now that's what I normally do but Johnny came up with this uh, setup that's really nice. If you take these, I'm just going to uh, get rid of that middle segment. So I'm going to come over to Construct, Reduce, More, Bang Glue. And I'm just going to use two segments. And then I'm going to set up a, a, quick, a quick morph target uh, for those rows. So I'm going to come over to M, New, and I'm just going to call this Elbow, not L Blow, Elbow, Create. I'm going to take this row of points and I'm going to move it all the way over here. And I'm going to take this row of points and I'm going to move it all the way over here. Okay. So I've got my base with the segments in the center and I have my morph with the segments spread out. Okay, We're, we're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to save and send it over to layout. Okay, I'm going to go into the top view zoom in. Uh, now whenever I'm I'm rigging I like to go to object properties. The first thing we need to do is set the subdivision order to last. Uh, we want the uh, we want it to subdivide it to polygons after the the bones have deformed have displaced the geometry. I'm gonna set my sub patch level to one. This is just for rigging and uh, go to front face just so I can see where the joint is and things like that. So under the setup tab I'm gonna go to draw bones and I'm just gonna draw the upper arm and I'll just go ahead and do one big bone because I'm really just um, focusing on the joint here okay where the bend is gonna take place and that works. I'm gonna turn bone x-ray on uh, let's go to perspective Let's go back to Texture, Object, Properties, set the display back to 3. I set it to 2 just because it's easier to see where I'm placing things because I, I can actually see the segments. Uh, I'm going to go turn the bones on and let's get a good view of this. I'm just going to, on frame 10, I'm going to rotate this, something like that. So we get a, a somewhat of a, an elbow bend. It's got a, a curve to it, uh, but we can control the shape of this, uh, of this elbow with that morph target. So I'm going to go over to, I need to select the object, Object, Properties, Deform, Add Displacement, Morph Mixer. Double click to open that up. I'm just going to size this down. And I'm going to apply, I'm just going to use the mini slider. Actually, I'm going to move this over here so that we can kind of watch it. Um, as we slide. So I'm going to start applying the morph and now I'm getting a much more curvy shape on my bend. So it's a little bit more like a Dr. Seuss arm um, and I can go real crazy with it like this or I can tight I can go into the negative and now I'm tightening up that elbow. Okay, So I can have the same character uh, doing different poses where sometimes you want that hard elbow and then other times you want it to be a little looser and get real cartoony. And the fact that it's just one uh, morph that controls this is, um, is really nice. Now it, again if you don't want to have uh, this big window up open to control this, uh, all we really need to do, I'm going to go ahead and close this down, is come over to Object, Properties, Geometry, Add Custom Object, We'll go to sliders. I'm going to double click, come over to the arm, go over to the morph group, double click, add it to the list, continue, 
close, move over to modify, sliders, and I can move this up in the way. See it's um, it's transparent over the interface and it allows me, and if I want I can close that up. I'm animating my arm and I go up. I need to tighten that up a little bit. So I'll just... Okay now, right now I've got it in, um, from 0 to 100 so I need to go to Object, Properties, Sliders, and for this group I need to um, I need to set a range and I'm gonna set the range from negative 50 to 100 okay so that I can come past 0 because that's how I'm gonna get that really um, sharp angle with only using two segments okay so I can come here and uh, later on I can always make it loose so that's just a really quick look at uh, this cartoon joint rig that uh, that I picked up from Johnny Gordon, and it, I, I've, I love it. I've used it on a, a couple projects, and it's so easy to set up, and the payoff is there. It looks great, and it and it works good. So there you go.